Are you guys ready to zip through China? Let's go. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Shanghai, China. Today we're traveling to the city of Suzhou. This city is located like a two hour drive from Shanghai, but instead of driving there, we're gonna take the Chinese bullet train. This is the fastest and most affordable way to get there. It only takes like 22 minutes. It's really cheap, it's like between $10 and $20 US to either go second class, first class, or business class. And there's two stations you could choose from here in Shanghai and in Suzhou to take the bullet train. And there's over 150 to travel between these two cities daily. That's crazy. So basically there's one like every five to 20 minutes. I'm going to the Shanghai Hongqiu station, which is a little farther outside of the city. Just, and the reason I came to this one is because it has more selection, like in terms of like one every five minutes, one every 10 minutes. The other one, Shanghai station, which is more central, had one like every hour today. So I didn't want to risk it. So I came to this one. Let's get inside. Let's buy our ticket. Let's go ride the Chinese bullet train. Follow me. Get my bags. Oh. So much luggage. All right, now let's go into the station and uh, let's book our tickets. Luckily, there's one like every 10 minutes here, so I can just book one that's like in half an hour, so I have enough time to get there and buy something on the way in, maybe buy some food or buy a drink. Wow, a lot of, a lot of people here. Okay, so you have to buy here at the machine, but there's no English. What time do you want to go? Uh, I want to go 12, 1246. Yeah, in, in business class. Yeah, business class. Yeah, so this one. This one? Yeah. Business. Business class, yeah. Not having English, that's not good, man. That's crazy. Okay. What do I do? Yeah. So we had problems with my ID and my passport to buy the ticket. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go inside and see if somebody can help me because nothing else I can do. And the big issue is that they said that they check your ticket when you're entering, and if you don't have a ticket, you can't enter. So there's a bit of an issue here. It's gonna take some time. This is how this is what China's all about. Lost in real translation. Okay, so what you guys have to do is when you get here, go here, you're gonna go in, just have your passport out, and they'll let you come in. Then once you get through, you go and you buy the ticket at a counter around here. This place is so massive though. I gotta like really thank this guy right here. Without him, I'd be lost right now. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Oh my god. It's very near from here. Oh that's that's the line there too? Another line. Yeah. I'm not gonna make it to this one either. Okay, we are in a line for tickets that are for sale for today because you can actually reserve tickets for you know whenever you want. Ooh, it's uh, easily 50 people in front of me, maybe a little less. So he's saying it's quick, it's 15 minutes. I'm hoping because I got about 36 minutes for my train. So I'm really cutting it close here. You can go, no only first class. Only first class? Yeah, just came the earliest. No, but I need to go to Su Suzhou, not north. Suzhou station, yeah. Suzhou. It's regular Suzhou. Yeah. Okay, and time. First class? Why, why not business class? No business class in this one? No business class, only first class. Only first class? Yes. Alright, so they don't accept credit cards that are not Chinese. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Yeah, what a mission, guys. What a mission. My, my train leaves in 11 minutes. There's only first class in this one. No, no business class because I don't know. I don't know why. Alright, so. Hey, do you know where I go? Do you know where I go? Where is that? What platform? Uh, when I, I buy a Taiki there. You take me there? Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so we're running to platform 24. Running. Got 11 minutes to get to be on the train. Where is it? Oh my god, there's so many. It's all the way over there. Okay, thank you, thank you. Excuse me, excuse me. Alright, we made it through the gate. I think we're good, I think we're good. We got four minutes. Can't even speed up because I have all this luggage. Man, I rushed, rushed through this. Uh, seven. Seven. So I'm in the seven cart, 11. Gotta run to seven, and I'm in six D. Come on, come on, seven, 10. Where are we, where are we, where are we? All right guys, so I made it here into my first class seventh cart. Uh, my seat's actually like six down, but in the front there's actually no one. So I'm just gonna sit up here. I put all my luggage in front of me, made it a lot easier. 
And yeah, what I recommend is getting here at least 90 minutes before your train. Luckily, if you do miss your train, there's another train. I mean, it depends on what city. Like between these two cities, there's like 100 a day. So 150 different uh, options a day, which is amazing. And wow, sorry, I'm like, I'm just trying to catch my breath. And it's first class, you can see. Very nice, comfortable chairs. You can see, put back, oh, perfect. Stretch out a little bit and in front of me. Look, very open, great. I don't know if they're gonna serve us anything or at least could bring us anything, you know, to buy any drinks because it's only 22 minutes. So we're gonna be there in no time. Are you guys ready to zip through China? Let's go. So as you can see, I mean, basically all you see outside is pollution. You have some skyscrapers, some residential buildings, you know, it looks very green, but at the same time, you look up in the sky and it's like just gray, like a huge pollution pocket out here. It's pretty insane how much pollution there is. I mean, in Shanghai, it was bad like the first day, but then it cleared up. Here, it's like, my God, just all you see is pollution. It's pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, we're stopping, making a quick stop at a different uh, town here. I don't know what this place is. Kuishanang Station. That's not me. I still have like 10 more minutes at least. Oh, here we are, let's see this. Here in between cart seven and eight, we have the bathroom. We have, you know, obviously a, a faucet right here, clean your hands, but they also have this like little station for hot water. So if you want hot water for your tea, you come here, you get some hot water, and that's it. I mean, that's, I guess these are the little, the little perks here in first class. I don't see anything else. Oh, and the bathroom's pretty nice. It's pretty clean. Just like open, bam. Pretty good, pretty good. And they also have this section right here, so this is where you put your luggage. Because there's not that many people here, I just put my luggage right in front of me, not a big deal. You know, I'm getting really, really thirsty. So I asked the lady, hey, can you give me some water? I mean, I don't see anybody coming with any carts. And they finally understood, they got me some water. It cost 15, so it cost like $2.10. Oh, that's what I was missing. This bullet train is way too fast, like it's way too fast. We're almost there, we have six minutes to go and I can't believe it. I mean, when I was in Japan, I did Tokyo to Kyoto and then Osaka to Tokyo and that's great because it's like two hours plus. So you get to really experience, you get to eat, you get to relax. Here, you know, you don't. <laughs> it's just really too quick, it's too quick. I mean, the best thing to do is to go to farther cities. So later in this trip, I'm gonna go to Hangzhou and then there, that's like a 90 minute bullet train ride which will be a lot better experience in terms of like you really get to enjoy it this is just like looking outside okay I'm there it feels like I'm just on a metro line you know that's how that's how quick this is one of the major differences between the Japanese bullet train and the Chinese bullet train is that this one doesn't have a tray table in front they have it like a plane it comes out from here right it comes out from here bam I mean lots of space this is just like you know it's okay it's not amazing and another thing that's a huge difference between Japan and China is that like people making noise. A lot of people like talking on the phone. It's a, uh, I guess it's different cultures. You know, in Japan, the whole thing is they gotta be super quiet. You can't make a peep. Here, it's more like, you know, America. You can just talk and do whatever. So, I get it, I get it. It's the different culture, different, you know, different etiquettes, as you could say. That was so fast. 22 minutes to connect you from Shanghai to Suzhou. Incredible. We've arrived. Suzhou. Can't wait. Let's get out of here and find my guide. Janet. Janet's gonna be taking me around for the next two days. No, only for this oh, half only, day. Only half day. Yeah, okay. I'm a teacher. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, I have perfect. Something to do tomorrow. Okay, no problem, so no problem, no problem. Have... So a lot of you might be thinking, you know, why did I come to Suzhou? Well, basically, this is the Venice of the East. I was looking up, you know, places I can go, you know, short day trips from Shanghai, places that are really close where I can go for a day or two days. And this is one of them. It looked amazing. Canals, you know, gardens, lots of history, lots of food here. And yeah, I mean, we had an incredible time today going on the bullet train. So when you're taking the bullet train, I highly suggest you pull out your passport, you go into the train station, you look for somebody who speaks English, you get there, you pay. They don't take credit card, American cards, or any card that's not a Chinese credit card. So you have to have cash on you. Uh, and try to get there 90 minutes early. And yeah, I mean, only a 22 minute ride. It cost me 50, so it cost me eight bucks to get here. That's so cheap, so ridiculously cheap. And yeah, this is everything that's about to happen in Suzhou. 
pretty cool experience. I mean, if you got the money and you want to spend 50 bucks, I highly recommend going private. But if you can't, you know, you want to spend less, spend 40 per person and get, you know, in a group. So beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of Venice in terms of just the canal portion. That's it. <laughs> and here we go. Gordon shrimp. Pretty amazing. It's like tiny shrimp. You have this like little water vegetable. Oh, let's dive in. This shrimp is actually a freshwater shrimp from this area, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then they, they fry it, but it's like very lightly fried. Mm -hmm. mm. Across the street. So we're crossing this bridge. It feels like an ancient bridge, but it's not so old. This is why this place is called the Venice of the East, because there's so many canals. <laughs> After a quick 10 minute drive, we've arrived here to the biggest silk factory in Suzhou. We're gonna fly in and see them weaving the silk. Let's go. All right guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Suzhou, China. Peace.